Hey uh, guys, Buildzoid here, and today we're going to be uh, talking about some memory stuff because uh, I've been noticing it recently on the internet more and more, and it's been annoying me more and more. Um, so earlier this year, there was articles about how uh, Samsung B die is cancelled; um, it's end of life. We're we're not going to get any more B die, and how you know it's going to get replaced by A die and uh, well, this the, unfortunately the articles are wrong on both uh, statements because BDI is an eight gigabit memory chip, whereas ADI is a sixteen gigabit memory chip, and uh, so BDI being an eight gigabit memory chip is not going to get replaced by a sixteen gigabit memory chip because people still buy eight gigabyte memory sticks. Um, so as long as people keep buying eight gigabyte memory sticks, you're not just gonna like you can't really replace it with a sixteen gigabit memory IC. Um, well, you could, but it, it's not like a normal thing for memory vendors to do that. Um, and the other thing is is that uh, BDI is um, just not cancelled. So here we are on Samsung's own own website. I'm, I'm just going to reload it to, to prove that it's not some like archived version or something. Um, right? And here we have all of the different memory chips that they currently uh, offer. And you can see, like, we don't actually have any in the list that are end of life. Uh, and I'm not sure why. Like, actually, like, you'll notice that there's no D die in the list, but that's because it's not in production anymore. So I, I'm, like, they, they just don't list the stuff they don't produce anymore. Anyway, if we tick off one gigabit, uh, I mean, eight gigabit with one gig by eight, uh, by eight configure, uh, organization, it's going to pick up all of the B die and, uh, C die memory chips as well. So, like, that right there, that's C die. And you'll notice something. Uh, B die, right, right here, 5WB BCPB uh, mass production. And you'll notice that this right under it, also B die, mass production. And this B die, mass production. And also this B die, of course, it's in mass production as well. It's almost like they didn't cancel it at all because they didn't. Um, so the problem is um, basically all of those articles which were going like, oh, B dot, it's it's the end of the world. There's not, it's actually it's the end of good, like good me overclocking memory. Um, B die is cancelled. Um, the issue is that the people reading Samsung's product catalog and writing those articles don't know how to read um, because what Samsung was actually cancelling was the B die based memory modules, which would be something like this right here. So this is a Samsung B die based memory module, and this got discontinued uh, this year. <laughs> I'm not sure when exactly, but they discontinued this. So Samsung, it is no longer possible to buy a memory stick from Samsung with B die memory chips on it. That doesn't mean you can't buy B die memory chips from Samsung. Uh, from Samsung. You still can. They still make them. They have them in mass production. I'm not sure when they're going to discontinue them, but I'm assuming it's not going to be anytime soon. And the other thing is, A die is not replacing B die. B die is going to get replaced by C die because C die is an 8 gigabit IC. And if you're wondering how C die overclocks, well, I've not tested it myself, but from people who have tested it, I've heard the following. It hates voltage, the timings are crap, just generally all around it's a terrible memory chip. Um, but, you know, the thing is, and you might be like, wait, so why why would BDI get replaced by this terrible new memory chip? Well, it's very, very simple. Uh, Samsung doesn't actually care about overclocking, pro like, the overclocking capabilities of their memory chips. Their primary customer base is data centers. Data centers buy tons and tons of RAM, and they're never going to run them above JDEX spec. So, um, which actually is one of the sort of, like, main reasons why, like, CDI is a win for Samsung, is if you, if we sort this by speed, you'll notice that the top speed bins of 3200 megahertz are exclusive to CDI memory chips. Um, and that's just because CDI does higher frequencies at the voltages necessary for the, for the JDEX specification. Now, obviously, you can, like, if you actually overclock BDI with high voltage, you can run it at way better settings than any CDI will ever do. But uh, Samsung doesn't care about that because data centers don't overclock their memory. They run it at JDEC, and as of right now, the highest memory speed supported by something like, say, an Epic CPU is a 30 is 3200 megahertz. So uh, there's no point mem making memory chips capable of 4 gigahertz plus because nobody's going to run them at that. Like, none of your large customers actually care about running them like that. So... Yeah, anyway, so the BDI memory modules discontinued. BDI memory chips still very much in mass production. They're not going to go out of mass, like, I don't know when they're going to go out of mass production, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Um, right, like, RAM is currently, like, RAM is currently pretty cheap 
compared to how expensive it was. But, you know, like there's no shortage of demand for memory chips. So I don't think it would be like, I, I don't think it would make sense for Samsung to suddenly just shut down one of their production lines so that they can retool it for, you know, a lower nanometer process. Because like CDI, as far as I know, is is a, actually, I wonder if it says here somewhere. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. We'd have to like look at the actual data sheet, which, um, yeah. But uh, like B die is made on an older manufacturing process than C die, so yeah. And B die actually replaced. I actually don't know what B die replaced, but anyway. So B die is not going anyway, uh, uh, anywhere. Um, and I've also seen people complain that B die is apparently rare, and this is also incorrect. So just gonna pop on PC part picker and. Uh, Sort by price, and there's plenty of plenty of BDI available if you don't mind paying ridiculous amounts of money, of course. Um, just, let me just close that down. And why is this taking so long? Perfect. Okay, fine. Oh, right, I had all of the stuff. Okay, well, just two by eight kits, right? So obviously plenty of BDI if you're willing to pay ridiculous amounts of money, but you're probably not willing to pay ridiculous amounts of money for memory, um, because I'm not, and you know I'm I'm a bit of a, a bit of a memory nerd. So, but you do have options like say this right here, which is $187, which I'd still say is kind of a lot to pay for a memory kit. But uh, yeah, this right here, this is BDI. This is 4,500 megahertz at 1820 uh, 2044. Uh, costs less than $200. Is it in stock? I'm I bet it is. Um, and uh, indeed, it is. It is in stock. Um, so. Yeah, go go buy some B die right here right now for two hundred bucks. But hey, maybe maybe you want to pay even less money, and you can pay even less money because B die right now is for some like B die is incredibly cheap. And honestly, if B die was going out of production, I would expect it to be very expensive, not really cheap, because you know like the memory vendors would probably know in advance of the canceling, and they would start cranking up the prices of the like the the B die based memory kits. So let's scroll around for a bit um, and find some actual B die. And there should be plenty of that on this page. Okay, yeah, so here we have some B die. So this is like 4133, um, 19, 21, 21. Also, I'm going to point something out. If you're looking to buy B die memory sticks, there's no reason to force yourself into buying something like 3200 CL14. I know it's really like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to buy myself my 3200 CL14. You are wrong. Because of this, like, because people keep buying up 3200 CL14 memory kits, see, 3200 CL14 is not actually the cheapest way to get B-Die, because it's so popular that the memory vendors have realized that you're all buying the same freaking speed bin, and so they jacked up the prices for the 3200 CL14, because, like, it, it's really easy to, to do that. Um... So you're actually better off buying things like, say, 3600CL16, or actually, um, if you're a bit brave at this point, because uh, it's not ideal. But uh, technically speaking, something like, say, this kit right here, which is only like $110, um, this is probably b die. And I say probably because at this point, um, like 17, 18, 18, like this CG, the TRCD here is just low enough that most Rev E won't do it. Okay, like there's definitely like Micron does make some Rev E that will do this. You can find it on Crucial. Like Crucial has some crazy bins of Rev E available, and that's why I would actually just like if you don't want to end up with Rev E memory, don't buy anything from Crucial because you're probably going to end up with Rev E. If you want B die, avoid Crucial because right now they're, they're like they've managed to bin Rev E into some ridiculous things. But uh, yeah, this right here almost certainly B die because both CJR, DJR, and Rev E um, will generally need a TRCD of 19 in order to be stable at 3600 megahertz. And uh, well, B die doesn't. That's kind of the identifying feature for B die. If you're looking for B die, look for memory kits with a low TRCD. How low? Well, if you take your memory speed and divide it by your TRCD, if the number is higher than 200, probably B die. Um, I'm saying probably because, again, Crucial has managed to bin Rev E into some crazy, crazy speed bins, like 4,000, uh, 18, 19, 19, if I'm not mistaken. And also they have a 3,600, 16, 18, 18 bin. But generally, other vendors will, like, if they have Rev E of that quality, they will sooner stick it into something like a 5 gigahertz memory kit um, or a 4,800 megahertz memory kit, rather than uh, making really, oh, like, silly, you know, things like, well... 
um, 17, like there's no, like you might be able to find some Rev E that does 17, 18, 18 at 3600, but that Rev E is also probably fully capable of like 4600 megahertz at CL18. So why the hell wouldn't you sell it as like 4600 megahertz memory? Because the other thing you need to realize about the buying memory kits these days is the price premium you pay for frequency is insane. Like once you go past a little past 4000 megahertz, you pay a lot extra, right? Like, just, well, Okay, let's let's get to the top. That's where you get it, right? Like, like from this point onwards, everything is over four thousand megahertz, except this right here. Th this I don't know what they're plot like. They don't want to sell that anymore. <laughs> this, that has to be a pricing error. But uh, yeah. So and you know, like if you want a clear example of something that's probably Rev E, just just look at this. Um, nineteen twenty six twenty six at uh, forty six hundred megahertz. If you take forty six hundred divided by twenty six. Um, it's going to be significantly less than 200. Actually, I'm, I'm going to do the math right now. So 4,600 divided by 26, that's 176. This is almost certainly going to be EDI. I mean, Rev E, because um, Samsung makes an EDI. Um, and they still make that stuff. Like, I'm actually really surprised that they still make EDI. Um, let me just fix the search options. See? EDI. I'm, I'm really surprised that they're still making that, because that stuff's been around for ages and ages and ages. But anyway... Um, you get the idea. So, like, I would generally, like, I would not look at these super high-speed memory kits because they're, like, especially if they have a loose TRCD, just avoid because it's probably Rev-E. Unless you're, you know, unless you're planning to go for, like, a memory frequency world record, um, don't try to judge memory kits by uh, cast latency because it doesn't work. Rev-E does low cast latency at high frequencies. It just doesn't do low TRCD. So... That's kind of the thing to watch out for, but hey, let's let's check out this G-Skill kit right here. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm correct. So this is 19, 19, 19 at 39. This is going to be B-Die, right? And it's $251, so it's not exactly cheap, um, but it is in stock. So, you know, but the thing is, is like, if you actually want just good value for money B-Die, then you're probably going to be buying like a team group. Uh, or a Patriot kit, because a lot of the like G-Skill, Corsair, just because they're more like popular um uh, right like a lot more people have heard of g scale they've heard of corsair they've heard of kingston they've heard of HyperX. those memory vendors tend to charge more for their memory kits because they're just better known um but you know patriot and uh and team group and uh there's other who else is there um i can't think yeah patriot team group um i'm not really seeing anyone else here right now Oh yeah, Mushkin exists, but I don't know what they do. Like, I don't know what memory chips they use on what kits. Um, they, yeah, uh, let's see. Okay, so that's a 3600. Okay, that's a 16. Oh, this is a, nope, that's a 3216. Um, and actually, if you're on PC Parpic, or one of the easier ways to choose B-Die kits would be just to go through this right here. And, you know, check off, say, 16, 16, 16, and just straight 16 timings. Um, and then look for 3600 megahertz, and that's like the easy way to find B die, right? Like, like this this has to be this right here is going to be B die. That right there is going to be B die. Um, that's not because that's 2400. This is going to be B die. Um, also, you can get Samsung B die on like 3200 CL16, and you can get it on 3000 CL15 as well. The problem with those memory kits is that, uh, and there is an actual problem, like with that those uh, speed bins of like 3200 CL16, um, and uh, okay, this is out of stock right now. Do they have it in stock in gold? Oh, they have it in stock in gold. Probably because gold is a horrible freaking color to have your memory sticks. <laughs> I approve. I agree with the people who didn't buy the gold <laughs> gold ones. Uh, they have good taste. Uh, anyway, um, where was I going? But basically, 3200 CL16 is a speed bin that like Rev E does it, CJR does it, MFR does it, AFR does it. MFR and AFR are trash. Um, a bunch of Micron ICs do it. Like everything under the sun does it. So if you buy a 3200 CL16 memory kit, you're playing like an extreme version of the Silicon Lottery because what memory chips you get will be all over the place. And also b die itself is very inconsistent. Um, so if we go to the gig 8 gigabit ICs here, like b die itself is already really inconsistent. Um, and just for example, like I know somebody who tried to bin a bunch of these 
um, or I think it was a bunch of these, like basically they were buying green PCB Samsung VDI memory sticks. Um, and they were trying to bid them to see if any of them were any good. And what they generally found is that these memory sticks topped out below 37, 33 megahertz. And the reason for this is, is VDI is really, really inconsistent in terms of quality. So when you're buying, like, that's why you should, if you're going to buy VDI, you should be buying a 3200 CL14 or a 3600 CL6, like 3600, 16, 16, 16. Right, like it's important that it's 16, 16, 16, because if it's 16, 19, 19, then it's going to be CJR, DJR, Rev E. Um, and it could still be VDI, but it's pretty unlikely because most of the vendors that have a 3600 16 19 19 bin also have a 3600 16 16 16 bin, and so they need that good VDI for the 3600 16 16 16, not for the 3600 16 19 19, right? So they're probably not going to get it there. Um, but um, where was I going? But anyway, so like low quality VDI is basically just as bad as AFR and MFR. Like it, it's terrible. So you, you should actually be buying like a 3200 CL14, a, you know, 3600, as I mentioned, 1616. There's also 3600 CL15. That, that also exists. Um, uh, of course it does. So like you can get 15, 16, 16, 15, 15, 15, right? Those kinds of things. Um, which actually I should ju just check off the 3600 speed at this point because it's picking up a lo whole bunch of like 2133 trash. Um, where is the speed option? Are you kidding me? Where's my memory speeds? Oh, well, that's dumb, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll just... I, I guess we can just sort it by memory speed, right? Let's put the... High speed stuff at the top. So yeah, you can see like 3600 and 15, you can get 3614 even. And that's still like, that's going to be BDI as well. Um, except if it's from Crucial. <laughs> Avoid Crucial. <laughs> also that's 3215. Um, the funny thing is like in the past, Crucial would actually use BDI and EDI because Crucial is owned by Micron. But if Micron can't keep up with the demand that Crucial has, Crucial will actually buy Samsung memory chips for some of their memory kits but basically right now there's just like there's other vendors where you're guaranteed like who actually have like guaranteed BDI bins and then there's Crucial where it's like you're probably going to get Micron if you buy a Crucial kit right so that, that's why I would just straight up avoid Crucial if if you're looking for BDI um, oh yeah 14 16 16 like those are perfectly good bins at 3600 megahertz Right, like you can get that at 14, this at 14, that's $214. That's actually a pretty aggressive bin right there. So yeah, there, there's a bunch of uh, bunch of BDI options and I'm, I'm sure this is still in stock, right? Like you can probably pick this up. Yeah, let's check Newegg. I mean, we could check Corsair's store as well. And the internet here sucks, so. Um, okay, so I guess we're not gonna check. Maybe the internet dropped out. That would be pretty funny. Oh no, Corsair's loading. Yeah, the internet's being crap. I hate this house. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, still, so that's that's one thing. Like, so basically, there's there's tons of BDI. There's tons of BDI memory kits available. You can buy them. Samsung is still making BDI. Don't have to worry about a shortage. And here's my basic like like thumb of rule guidelines, uh, a rule of thumb guidelines for getting actual BDI memory kits. Um, now this actually I'd say is a bit sketchy, like 19, 21, 21. It's a bit on the loose side and I'd also say the same for like 16. Actually, that shouldn't be 16, it should be 17, 18, 18. But like 17, 18, 18, I wouldn't be super, comf uh, super confident, but anything lower than 17, 18, 18, it's pretty much ha like, I'd be in, like, if you get Rev E, that's 3600, 16, 17, 17, I'll be really impressed. Like, that <laughs> would be some incredible Rev E. Also, 16, 17, 17 isn't an actual bin. Like, I've not seen a single memory kit with that. Um, so, yeah, but 17, 18, 18 is almost certainly going to be BDI. 16, 18, 18 generally still going to be BDI unless you're looking at, like, Crucial, because Crucial does do a 3600, 16, 18, 18 bin of, uh, of Rev E. Um, it's in their Ballistics Elite kit, um, and that's like crazy good Rev-E. It's just like 
you know, crazy good Rev E is still worse than like average B die. So that's like, that's why you should be looking for B die in my opinion, right? And then for the higher speeds, like you've got 4,000, 19, 21, 21 or tighter. Um, there's also like a bunch of bins in between 3,600 and 4,000. Like there's 37, 33 CL17 where it's like 17, 17, 17. So that's going to be B die. There's also 37, 33 with 18, 20, 20 from team group. That's B die. I don't know what it's going to be for other vendors. Like, um, like 2020 at 3733 for like 20 TRCD at 3733 is actually the loose enough TRCD that it could be Rev E, but um, I'm not like as I've not seen that yet. But I wouldn't feel con like the the thing is you can get like there's so many freaking memory kits on the market right now, right? And so many different heat spreaders and the prices. Uh, for a lot of them are so close together that if you have a memory kit where it's like, well, this could technically be a Rev E bin without too much difficulty, just go for the like the guaranteed B die instead, right? Un unless you're looking for RGB memory, like you shouldn't have a hard like unless you're looking for specific RGB memory kits because you like the look of the heat spreader or something, you really shouldn't have a problem finding that something that's that's good within just like this set of speeds, right? I even forgot the 4500 megahertz and uh. Like I forgot to include 4133 and 4500 and 4300. Team group has a 4300 bin that's like 18, 20, 20, um, which works well. But the, the thing is, is like if you just take the speed and divide it by 21, um, like 4266 divided by 21, right? That's uh, 203. And that alone is already a pretty good indication that it's probably not going to be Rev E. Um, 4,021, 21, I'd say pretty borderline, but still should be generally B die. Um, but, uh, yeah, like ideally at 4,000, I'd be looking for like 19, 19, 19, right? Unless you're looking at Crucial, because again, Crucial has a 18, 19, 19 rev E bin, um, which is just kind of insane. But, uh, yeah, and then at like 4,800 megahertz, G skill does an 18, 22, 22, um, which is actually the only B die bin at 4,800 that I'm aware of right now. At 4,600, G skill does a 19, uh, 18, 22, 22. That's still B die um, because at 4,600 for Rev E, I think you need like 24 TRCD. Like you need a much, much higher TRCD. So that's basically the idea is like this, this is what will tell you the IC. Um, and yeah, um, and yeah, 3200 CL14, like you don't have to buy that. There, there's a bunch of other options. Generally speaking, actually, well, it, these days, not so much, but it used to be that like 17, 18, 18, 3600 was actually like the cheapest option for getting B-Die because like it is like just people would buy 3214 instead, right? Like that, that's just like, this is a really popular bin, but this was like a relatively unknown like B-Die bin for a while. And that, that was actually a good, good way to get cheap B-Die for a while. Um, and actually, but these days, like Patriot, right? Like, uh, I'm I'm making this video unnecessarily long, but if we look at say the the Patriot sticks I have, the the crazy 4400, like the the recent uh, memory kit that I tested, that's like 4400 CL19 from Patriot. See, I could just check, like, isn't yeah? There's an all checkbox, so. Oh, well, actually, it won't let me do what I want to do, but if we go 1939. Um, so there's a Patriot kit. Yeah, this stuff, right? Like, this is dirt cheap. It's $130 for 4,400 megahertz. Like, and, oops, that's not what I wanted. Bam, right? They have three of them in stock. And uh, I guess Newegg just up and died on me. So, oh, wait, no, it didn't. It was loading. Wait, what the hell? The BA is the BNH. It's going okay, but Newegg has two in stock right now, so they don't have a ton of them, but they're definitely in stock and more on the way. So, okay, so th these guys don't have them in stock. I wouldn't be buying them there anyway because they're really overpriced. Um, at the, at the same time, Patriot also has like a oh they have a oh we have a Gale bin um, oh yeah there's there's a brand I completely forgot about but they're not in stock so I, I guess they're not that common in the in the U.S. Um, but Patriot also has a four thousand megahertz bin there should be a forty one thirty three somewhere okay well I can't see it but also all of these like G skill kits at forty two sixty six that's all B die as well. Um, 
Admittedly, that's like expensive because again, it's G scale, but hey, here's a decent option, right? $41.33, $164. Hopefully it's in stock. Let's check. Um, okay, PC Part Picker thinks it's in stock, but I've had bad experiences with that in the past. Uh, in stock, yeah. And it looks like, like they're not even listing that they're going to run out of units anytime soon, so I'm going to assume that they have plenty of these. So yeah, there's your B-Die. Right, 4133 CL19. I know it sounds really loose, but honestly, um, it's not that far off 3200, if I'm not mistaken. 133 divided by 19. Okay, it's a bit worse. It's not that much worse. You can always tighten it up anyway. Like, that's the thing, is like, there's, they're like, on Ryzen, you wouldn't want to run 4133 megahertz anyway. Right, on Threadripper, actually, this is decent. Um, on Threadripper, what I would do is probably push it, like, I, I'd try to push it to, like, bump the voltage, drop the cast latency, and bump it up to, like, 4266 or 4400. Um, on Ryzen, you would be going down to, like, 3733 and aiming for, like, 16, 16, 16, or maybe, uh, well, if you, well, like, if you're lucky, you might be able to do, like, 3600 at CL14 or 3733, 15, 16, 16, or something. Um, right, if you can get rid of gear down mode, um, if you manage to run in like 1T command rate instead of gear down mode, so, um, yeah, like, the, the thing is, like, sure, it's not exactly the speed you want, but there's nothing stopping you from just dropping the, t the, the frequency and fixing the timings to something that actually makes sense for the platform you're on. Admittedly, this won't work on most, like, Z390, <laughs> like, on most Z390 motherboards, this is going to be a pain to run just because of the frequency again. But again, you can just underclock it and tighten up the timings, because that's the main thing with b die is, like, you can really tighten up the timings, and especially the sub-timings, like, you can just go way lower on your, well, basically everything um, on the sub-timings with b die And that's where it gets the huge performance advantage. So... Uh, over all of the other memory ICs. So yeah, that, that's it for the video and for the outro I'm gonna leave the uh, sort of lazy speed la lazy speeds that you, you should be looking for right like ideally for these this range I would be looking at just straight 19s instead of 1921 but uh, 1921 is probably going to be fine as well. Um, and here I would probably be again looking for like 16 16 16 instead or 16 18 18 because Corsair has a 16, 18, 18 B dive in. That, that's like a bin that they do at 3600. Um, but um, yeah, so basically if you just, just follow this these guidelines, you're not going to end up with Rev-E, you're not going to end up with DJR, and you're not going to end up with CJR. Not that like, and incidentally, CJR is better than Rev-E for performance per clock, just because it does tighter timing. So on like Ryzen, second, uh, Ryzen 3000, CJR is actually better than Rev-E. I actually generally CGR, but like even on first gen Ryzen, CGR would be better than Rev-E. But anyway, um, yeah, so just avoid crucial and, and this this will work. If you don't want to avoid, like the thing is if, if like, well, yeah, just avoid crucial and this will work. Because crucial currently has, pile, like crucial belongs to Micron, they like stick in Micron memory chips and everything. Unless, you know, they run out and have to use Samsung. So yeah, that's that's it for the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. Suggestions about the audio quality will not be uh, listened to because I'm like, this is just an equipment limitation of where I'm like, I'm not recording from the UK. So that's why the, the uh, audio sucks more than usual. Or well, actually, my audio is not really that bad most of the time. But that's why the audio sucks. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, right. So like, share, subscribe. We've gone through that. Oh yeah, there's the notifications button, you know, if you don't want to miss any of my videos, because YouTube's actually really bad about giving subscribe, like, recommended, subs like, if you subscribe to something, you're probably not actually going to get the videos rec recommended, which is just, like, great. Thank you, YouTube. I, I love the subscribe button. It's, it's so useful these days. Um, and uh, if you'd like to support me, uh, then I do have a Patreon. You can support me directly through that. There's a link to that down in the description below. And other, the other option is to just support me through Teespring by buying shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch type stuff. Um, and there's a link to my the IHOC Teespring store down in the description below as well. So yeah, if you could check those out, that would be great. Um, and that's it for the video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.